Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, um, moving on now. Yes, indeed, we're following up on uh, a story which, of course, it's uh, developing. Remember, the allegation of sexual harassment leveled against three members of the House of Representatives. Well, the U.S. Embassy, we understand uh, the U.S. Ambassador expected in the House to provide video evidence on Thursday. We're joined on the phone this morning by Honorable Yusuf Tajuddin, who is the Chairman House Committee on Capital Markets. Morning, Honorable. Could you bring us up to speed? First and foremost, we understand that uh, the meeting was supposed to have been held on Monday, but it was then moved to Tuesday. Are we, or is the House really expecting the Embassy to come up with video evidence of what transpired? Definitely. That's our expectation. Our expectation is that we will give the embassy and the members the privilege of telling the committee exactly what is their own side of the story. It is an allegation leveled against members of the House Chamber and the House, being the House, the responsible House, feel that the Capital of Ethics should look into it. I would thank, really appreciate the rest for the American ambassador to Nigeria that they will be attending. So we want them to place their facts and comfort our colleagues with their facts. Well, I, I, I know you would have heard many tell you that, well, they don't expect uh, the U.S. Embassy to just make allegations without having proof to back them up. And some of them will tell you, well, I told you, they were going to come up with evidence. So have you really asked members, those members accused, whether or not they can thump their chest and say, Yes, we can tell you on our honor, we are innocent. We didn't do this. Video evidence or not? Uh, we, 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 we've gone through all that. But there's a particularly member, Honorable Gila, Mark Gila, traveled to America with his wife and daughter. The, he wanted them to stay with him in the same hotel room. But he was told that the room was reserved for only one person. He went to the next block, booked a room for his wife and daughter. The same Honorable Guilla was the one that represented his speaker at an occasion that made the American ambassador there. And the man now told him of this allegation. I said, are you sure? I was part of the delegation. Please, if you are sure of what you're saying. Can you put it in writing? I mean, if he's involved, he knows this allegation is about him. I don't expect him to encourage the American ambassador to put it into writing. Three, these this members claimed that they stayed two weeks plus in America after that, I mean, Within that period, we expect that they will have the call for questioning. They came back. It was after a month plus he met the American ambassador. So, but we do not want to pretend that we have all the facts from our colleagues. We want to assume that there might be certain information they haven't divulged. That is why this hearing, and it's going to be public, so that if they are indeed guilty, they have themselves to blame, and the house will wash its hand off. But if they are not guilty, it will, will have an opportunity of putting to test certain allegations uh, being parodied or being flaunted fl 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 against black Africans. So we sincerely do not want to kind of uh, run to conclusion without going through this process. So that is the essence of this hearing. So. Let's stretch that a little further. If it turns out that the video evidence actually shows those three honorable members, are you saying that the House will apply the full weight of the consequences on those members? Definitely. Before the House arrived at that conclusion to do open, to, I mean, to do uh, investigative hearing, we had a robust discussion on it. I was like, this is not just about these three members. Yes primarily three members, but you put on the image of the house. So what, uh, what we do, we determine the way we are being perceived. 
if they actually committed that offense, it would have been one of the most honorable of them. Before getting to the level of a uh, public hearing. And what is the answer of the public hearing? The house refused to bite after being provided with such witty, I mean, uh, information or confirmation of those that allegation. Certainly. However, we do not. Certainly. So, so just, just let me come in here quickly. Certainly, uh, the, these are weighty allegations, uh, definitely. Uh, the, you know, you just mentioned Honorable Willa. What about the two others? Uh, did, you, uh, did they come before the Ethics Committee to also give their own side of the story? Yeah, you know, the, 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 the informations are, I mean, are just the allegation and uh, what the members presented as their own side of the story. Do not look, I mean, connected. The other, two, the other member was who was alleged to have held uh, uh, a staff of the hotel, one of the maids of the hotel, inappropriately, claimed that he was in the hotel for five days after, uh, and he moved to Los Angeles, spent another number of days, and what have you, and that he expected that the lady would have reported him immediately, who say, what about if the lady chose not to report him? And took his, uh, I mean, took her time. Uh, he he stood his ground or something like that. Macbilla and the other article on Boko were alleged to be talking to somebody in the car park, soliciting for, I mean, so uh, asking the person to link them to a harlot. Macbilla and on Boko claimed that the hotel has his back, uh, car park at the back. They didn't come with the car, so they never got to go to the car park. That is very close to the road, you know the most of this Western Hotel, you just driving, that is the watch they claim. So we want to see how the uh, individual evidence that will show punctuate that alibi that they were at the car park talking to somebody to help them get a prostitute. So the man they claim and uh, the owner they claim touched it will be made. If we had to be that alone. You will have been, I mean, it will have been very, very difficult uh, for us to, I mean, have any alibi to defend them. One, he is in the room. Do we expect that? In fact, that we expect, there should be controversy over that. There should be a camera that will pick that. If he's in the room. Two, they should, the maid should be able to ascertain the exact time and what happened when, when it happened. So we believe that will be a straightforward uh, 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 I, I mean, position. It will be difficult to prove that. Uh, the, 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 what, was there a time uh, during the course of uh, this investigation you had your, uh, any conversation with the U.S. Uh, embassy or the hotel where they lodged? Because as it is, as a rule, standard rule, most of the hotels uh, around the world don't have cameras in the rooms, but you can have them around the lobby. Yeah, sir, I am not a member of the Ethics Committee. I don't know if they made that call, but I'm aware that the members on their own had engaged an Anthony in the U.S. to pursue this matter. The two members have come together and they want to clear their names. And they need an Anthony to engage the hotel that in the American law, you, 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 you must present all your allegations, you must front load it. So they've got an Anthony who is working on that. I don't know the level of information he has now, but I know they have an Anthony working on it. But this uh, Thursday event in the house, what's the shape? Is it going to be open for live coverage or will it be the plenary? You no, know, it is a, it's an open, it's not the, it's the committee of foreign affairs and extra privilege. They were making the conference, it's going to be open. Because the intention of the house is to make the, allow the public to see what transpired. So that is why the House took time to engage the members. Hey, this is not an allegation you can just throw to the dustbin. It's witty. We must be sure of where we are. We are going this direction. So it is of great importance that you search yourself. We can't, that's, we're going to be to the point. It's public. It's open. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those insights, Honorable uh, Yusuf Tajuddin, Chairman. House Committee on Capital Markets. So promises to be, uh, I'm sure, there'll be lots of attention and focus Absolutely. on that one. So Mark, we might add that to her to-do list uh, as well 
on Thursday that's going to happen on the house market. Well, thank you so much for linking up with me again, Chimbalim. <laughs> it's been great to be a part of the program here from Abuja. I definitely will be looking up for it on Thursday. Uh, thank you, Malkwe. Yes, indeed. And I uh, will thank you all for watching as well. I'm Chamberlain Usar. Many thanks. I'm Suleiman Lede from Lagos.